Aside from the obvious FM and Modbus cross-modulation available in the DPO, the two oscillators are also connected by the follow and sync circuits, which are very useful when developing complex sounds. Follow lets you use the one volt per octave input on VCO-B to control VCO-A's frequency to varying degrees. At low settings, it follows pretty sloppily and often doesn't reach the destination. As we turn follow up, we get less and less lag. The fastest follow speed available will vary from unit to unit. Sync forces VCOA's core to reset at the same time as VCOB's, which means that if the cores are near each other in frequency, the VCOA frequency control will now control its timbre rather than its pitch, while the pitch is synced to that of VCOB. VCOB can control both the timbre and pitch of VCOA. The classic sync sweep involves a slow sweep of the VCOA frequency while it is synced to and follows VCOB. Also comes alive when the relative frequencies of the two VCOs can be heard, as in this FM patch. We'll monitor the sine output of VCOB and FM it with VCOA using the FM index control. We'll start sequencing. As we turn follow up, we can hear VCOA start to slide into place at each new frequency, giving each new note an interesting timbral shift at its onset. Since the follow amount can be voltage controlled, it is useful to patch a slower modulation source to the CV input such as this slow cycle for maths. Follow also works when VCOA is in LFO mode. A good example of this is to use the Modbus to create a wobble bass. As we sequence VCOB, we can have the LFO speed up as the pitch rises and slow down as it falls. For more information, visit make noise music.com. <laughs> 